So yeah, that's the hoverbot. I'm oh, uh, being to play with that. So I can find where I have a fan hanging up here. See what I did wrong there. But the, the same kind of fan that blows down. The just right. Just it's the same fan blowing down in the center, <laughs> and then then on the sides. Those those are pretty good. I mean, they draw almost two amps. So they they, they really they really push some air. <laughs> can lift that up. But if you're, yeah, go to this, go to Servo Magazine for this month, next month, and the following month. And I have the directions all laid out for the, the hoverbot. Cool. And is that pickaxe again on that? Or yeah, I'm using pickaxes because the basic stamps are so expensive. When um, I use the basic stamp is what I, what I use all the time and what I use for my book on near space. Mm -hmm. The uh, when the chip the, the, the pickaxes came out, they were so much less expensive uh, that the four well, I talked to the four H about doing something with the space tech were doing robotics and their big complaint from the parents is that you go buy a two hundred fifty dollar Legos robot. It's too expensive. Oh, yeah. So I so said, let me see what I can come up with. So we've got robot controller for like thirty dollars, mm -hmm. robot body for another forty. I mean, we're you buy them piecemeal, but you can do some stuff, and you don't have to spend as much money putting these robot kits together. Yeah. 